Hi everyone, Miss Alexander here. We are in day three of our um, at home virtual learning. And it looks like yesterday after day two was assigned, teams started to have some sort of glitches and in order to fix it, they did an update. So the first thing I need you guys to do is I need you to actually restart your computer, not just turn it off, go down to the bottom, go to restart. The next thing you need to check is to make sure that you're either in the web version, which is the portal.office.com Teams or the app that automatically opens, if you'd prefer to use that on your computer, that would work as well. The next step is here's what's going on with the assignments. So you guys go up to the top where your assignments are and you click there. You can see your assignments that are coming up. Let it load for a moment, okay? You only see the assignments that you still have not turned in. The ones you've already turned in are under the graded box down here. So yours may look a little different than mine, but let's just try day three because that's where most of us are ha struggling. If you haven't done day one or day two, please work on those um, at your own leisure. Try to have everything turned in by Friday, please. So when you click on the assignment, um, if you notice people are able to view it and not turn it in, um, this is why. I'm gonna go to student view so it shows. This is what you see whenever you click on day three. In the past, the whole year, it's been really easy. All you have to do is click on student work and type directly in the document. Well, the update they installed, I think it was to help everybody's computers go faster, but it actually takes an extra step now. Here's what we're seeing. You click on it. All of your ability at the top to edit or do anything is gone. It's almost like it's just a little screenshot of the assignment. To get this assignment to work, here's the first way. Click the three dots and you can do one of two things. The best way they said was to open in browser. The second way, if that doesn't work, is download. So let's try open in browser. Click there. A tab should open at the top of your page. At the top of your page, and I believe this is what it looks like when you're working online. If you're in the app, it might look a little different. Now you can see all of your versions at the top where you can actually do what you need to do. Go ahead and type on your assignment, answer the questions as you can. You can use your stylus or your finger if you go up here. Um, Let's see, there's a way that you could draw on it. I don't see that version at the moment, but basically um, type what you can in here. And then when you're done, you should go to close it right here. So if you notice it says saved, make sure it says saved because if you type on it, it will say saving. Once it says saved right here, then you can just exit out of that tab. Pay attention to your tabs because if you have it open more than once, you need to close that out. So close the day three tab. When you're done, close the original assignment we're looking at. If you want to refresh right here, you can. So I'll bring you back here. If you want to refresh, refresh. Once you open it again in student work down here, it should show the changes that you made. Okay, so that's one way. The second way, that some of you have already figured out and it worked perfect for you, is if you download a copy of it, in order for it to download, your computer has to have the ability to open up Word. And so if it doesn't and you're using somebody else's computer that's not the school's, then it'll be hard for you to do that downloading part. But once it's downloaded, you're gonna open it up and it'll open it up um, on the bottom of your computer screen, like this, if I can get there, possibly. Nope, let's see. There it is, it's just right outside my window. Okay, click on it wherever it downloads. Sometimes it goes to your downloads folder. You will have to click enable editing at the top. Then you should be able to type on it just like we normally do in class and whatnot. Okay, type on it, make your copies. When you're done, you need to save it I would suggest that everybody creates a folder on their desktop with their computer um, that says like uh, biomed work or something. So desktop, save it to one of your folders. Like there's the folder I have for uh, my son's stuff that he's doing right now. Save it to your desktop, save it as day three, click save. Okay, I'm not gonna do it because I don't need another copy. Close it. When you're in your student view, there should be a way down here 
to attach. I don't see it on mine, but there should be a way to click down here to attach an assignment and then turn in. Because I'm using the student version, notice I don't have the turn in button up here like you usually do. Uh, please let me know if that's missing for you as well so we can make another how-to video. But there should be like an attach a document or a plus down here or something where you can attach it and upload it. And once it's uploaded and it says day three inheritance, then you can turn your assignment in. All right, give me some feedback and let me know how it works.